right, so you wanted to have this because your life was maybe like this. What do you want to do or, or how are you going to benefit from that? Or how can you get the embodied expression of this knowledge like in front of you as soon as possible? Like how do you get your hands on it? Mm -hmm. So much of people not putting things into practice. This is me as a recovering personal development junkie. <laughs> It's just, it's fun to get, it's like Pokemon cards. I like tear up the package. I'm like, okay, what cards did I get? <laughs> Maybe of the 10, one makes it into my deck. Yeah. But the emotional standpoint is I was already hyped just tearing the package open. And while that's cool. That's a great analogy. This, yeah. <laughs> there's people Love making it. tons of money off of that. The people who are actually getting better at Pokemon have a more, again, like purposeful, aligned reason for showing up and for people that get sold by this shiny it does feel like it's the teacher's job to then keep guiding them through um the actual implementation yeah. the actual like fun of it all because like i'll be real like the first version of messing game rallyship i had like 70 people sign up I was like hurrah this is gonna be so great and maybe like 15 20 made it to the end and even mm. then it was like a very uphill climb for them and i was like all right i could be very mad at white people which i'm always ready to do <laughs> But I think there's something deeper in here. Yeah. I think there's something about how I clearly nailed the pain, but didn't offer something that immediately relieved it. I do think there was a very long tail for the payoff mm. of what was promised. And I kind of built it on purpose. Like I didn't really want people to get a quick fix. So I didn't think that there was one. And yet that belief also snuck its way into the instruction yeah. that made it, again, I think more difficult for people to get the results than it necessarily needed to be. So what's the, for your new version, what's the, what's the ripping open the starter pack version of version 2.0 of, of allyship? Well, we're, so we're, we're figuring, I'm still figuring that part out because that's really a marketing question. That's the really scary weird thing about instruction is that like to have the knowledge and then to get it to someone, you have to have, be someone who can like communicate that need and surface the need when it might not already be there. Like mm -hmm. that's the game of allyship 1.0 wrote the wave of everyone feeling bad about America being bad in 2020. Yeah. Great, but for this information, which I do think is important to be valuable in any context, like people have to like on their own encounter a deep sort of personal need. And right now it's the, the big question is like, what is my next step? How can I get a quick win in this thing called allyship quickly? That is fun. Um, which again seems basic but that really was like the last thing is is nailing like the fun part uh, halfway through the course I started getting feedback that it wasn't fun I was like how can that be fun like it's all about fun I was like "Ooh, this is fun for me and I was like oh shoot yeah okay that's real I love world building I love <laughs> character creation of course this was fun for me I actually then created kind of ad hoc a module for like helping people like identify their own mm -hmm. definition of fun. Like we took people back into their past and it was like, all right, are you a hide and seek person? Are you a tag person? Are you a, okay, are you a Pokemon? Are you a Harvest Moon? Like really getting into like, what are experiences you've had that are fun and why aren't you showing up in the important parts of your life in that feeling and really helping people to bridge that gap and design it. And again, that was an accidental module that showed up that ended up being like utterly essential.